Well, we want to move you forward this midday on what may be one of the biggest rebounds yet for the city of San Francisco. For the first time since 2009, Dreamforce is back full force. That's right. NBC Bay Area's Ginger Conajero Saab is live there right now. Look at all the people behind you. Boy, this really hopefully will, will bring a boost to the city. That's right. Good morning, Marcus and Laura. You can see I'm right in the middle of it. These big crowds are definitely back. It's the biggest convention, the biggest event that's hit San Francisco since 2019, since the pandemic. Dreamforce is back for the 20th year and everything that comes with it. The foot traffic, the road closures, and of course, the huge welcome boost to the local economy. An estimated 40,000 people are expected to attend in person this year, and we've seen and experienced the crowd this morning. It's not quite back to pre-pandemic levels, they say, but those 40,000 in-person attendees are a big jump from last year's in-person numbers of only 1,000 people. Well, what does this mean? A big boost to the local economy. The convention is estimated to bring $40 million of economic activity. There's so much excitement for connection and so much collaboration. Everyone is working together across the city, all the restaurants. Everyone is thrilled to have the energy back. Vaccinated and boosted, uh, got it once, uh, got over it. Uh, safety, uh, I grew up in New York, so keeping that, like, you know, city smarts about me, uh, you know, trying to be street smart, and yeah, it should be good. You can expect some added traffic back up in the area for the rest of the week. Howard Street will be closed between 3rd and 4th Streets until 8 p.m. on Sunday. You can also expect the area around Moscone Center to be particularly congested. Now, things officially kicked off about an hour or so ago with the keynote that you can still see uh, being streamed live behind us right now. We have some special speakers, uh, Mark Benioff, of course, leading that keynote address. Some other big news from San Francisco largest employer a big donation of 10 million dollars given to local schools other big sessions and big dames to watch out for after Matthew McConaughey singer Jennifer Hudson and Bono are expected to attend this event and of course there's that big concert dream fest that's attached to the convention and I didn't want to give it away give it away give it away now but since they've made the announcement then you can expect the red hot chili peppers to be in San Francisco today or tomorrow we're live in San Francisco Ginger Conajero saw NBC Bay Area News.